Hey guys, ever wondered how to get the inside scoop on what people really think about a business? Today we're diving into the world of Google Maps reviews. But wait, there's a twist. What if I told you that you could automate the whole process and save yourselves hours of manual work? Stick around because we're about to uncover the secret sauce of scraping Google reviews using Google Sheets, Appify, and Make.com. This is going to change the way that you gather insights for your business. So first of all, thank you for coming back and a big welcome to all of the new subscribers joining us today. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Jake Dawson and I'm here to bring you the latest in AI powered tools and workflow automations in a way that's easy to understand and apply. And as always, remember that everything we cover here, it's to help you succeed. These are not just theories, but actionable strategies that you can use right now. Now, if you're new here or looking for more ways to level up, don't forget to check out the school community link below. Inside, you'll find exclusive Make.com templates, including the one that we're using today, that you can import directly and start using immediately. We've built a whole space for learners and doers just like you, where you can ask questions, get direct help, and connect with like-minded people who are ready to take action. And of course, you can always subscribe and hit that bell button to get notified of our bi-weekly videos, live sessions, and more. Let's jump right in. So why scrape Google reviews? Imagine being able to gather honest feedback from customers without lifting a finger. Whether you're crafting a killer business offer or you just want to know what people are saying about your market, this video is for you. And hey, in the first comment, I've added a little gift for you all, a free automation template that can help you generate leads and create personalized outreach messages. But it's only available for a limited time, so grab it while you can. All right, let's get started. First, we need to set up a space for all the scraped reviews. Head over to Google Drive and click on New, then select Folder and name it something easy to remember. Let's go with Google Maps Reviews. Now inside that folder, create a new Google Sheet just right click, go to Google Sheets, and name it Reviews Scraping. This is where all the juicy data is going to live. Now let's set up the sheet for input. Open it up and you'll see a blank grid. Click on the first cell in the first column and type Place URL. This is where we'll paste the links from Google Maps for the places that we want to scrape reviews from. To get one, just open Google Maps, search for something like Plumbing Services in LA. Find a business with a ton of reviews, click on it, and copy the URL from the address bar. Paste that into the first row under Place URL. Easy, right? Next, let's prep the sheet where the scrape data will go. Click the little plus sign at the bottom to add a new sheet and rename it to Data. Inside this sheet, set up the columns to make sure we capture everything we need. In the first row, type Reviewer Name, Review Text, Publish Date, Stars Given, review URL, and owner response text. This is where our scrape reviews are going to show up. And now that we've got our Google Sheet all set up, it's time to bring in the real MVP of this, Appify. If you've never heard of it before, think of Appify like a robot that does all the boring work for you, instead of you spending hours manually copying and pasting everything from Google Maps. Appify just goes in, grabs what you need, and organizes it neatly. It's like having a personal assistant who actually listens. First, head over to appify.com. If you don't already have an account, go ahead and sign up. It's free and they even give you $5 in credits every month, which it's enough to get started, trust me. Once you're logged in, look over to the left side of the screen and click on store. This is where all the different scraping tools or actors live. They've got scrapers for everything. Amazon, LinkedIn, Yelp. You could probably even scrape your ex's bad Yelp reviews if you wanted today. but. We're gonna focus on Google Map Reviews. At the top of the store page, there's a search bar. Click inside it and type Google Maps Reviews Scraper. When you see the one by a company called Compass, that's the one you want. Click on it and you'll land on the Scraper's info page. Now before we jump in, let's talk about pricing real quick. Appify charges about 50 cents per 1,000 reviews scraped. Not bad at all. And since they give you that $5 in free credit, that's enough to scrape about 10,000 reviews before you even spend a dime. So for most of you, this should work for free. And if you need more later, the pricing is pretty affordable. All right, let's set this thing up. Scroll down and you'll see a section labeled input. This is where we tell Appify what we want to scrape. There's a field called Google Maps Place URLs. 
click inside that box and paste the Google Maps link from earlier. If you've got more than one place, hit the little add button and paste additional links. Next, let's decide how many reviews to pull. Look for the number of reviews field in the section setting. If you leave it blank, Appify will grab as many as possible, but you wanna test it first, so type in something like 20. Why? Because if something goes wrong, you don't want to waste your free credit scraping a massive amount of data only to realize you forgot to check a setting. So set the review limit to 20 for now. Once you confirm everything is working, you can scale up as needed. Now let's talk about sorting and filtering. Reviews on Google Maps aren't just dumped in randomly. You can actually choose how they show up. When setting up the scraper, look for the sorting option. You can pick from newest, most relevant, highest rating, or lowest rating. If you're trying to figure out what people love about a business, go for higher rating, sorry, highest rating. If you're looking for areas where businesses need improvement, choose lowest rating. Uh, or if you want a balanced view, just stick with most relevant. Another cool filter is filtering by date. This is super useful if you don't want old reviews clogging up your data. For example, if you're scraping reviews to analyze customer sentiment over the past year, you can set the scraper to only pull reviews from the last 12 months. Just look for the date filter, enter your preferred time frame, and you're good to go. Also, make sure to set the review language. If you only want reviews in English, select that option in the settings. This would help you avoid pulling in reviews in languages you don't understand, unless you want to spend hours manually copying and pasting into Google Translate. All right, now everything's configured, it's time to run the scraper. Scroll down, double check your settings, and hit the big start button. The scraper will fire up and start collecting reviews based on the options you just set. Depending on how many reviews you're scraping, this could take anywhere from a few seconds to a few minutes. So grab a coffee, do a little stretch, or hey, even rest your eyes for a minute while Appify does the work. Once the scraper finishes running, head over to the Run page. This is where all the scrape reviews will show up. You'll see them neatly organized into columns, reviewer name, star rating, review text, and even the owner's response if there is one. Take a quick look through the data. If everything looks good, we're ready to automate this process so that the reviews get pulled automatically into Google Sheets without you having to run the scraper manually every time. And that brings us to make.com. If Appify is the muscle behind this operation, make.com is the brains. It's what connects all the pieces together and keeps everything running smoothly without manual effort. Instead of logging into Appify and running the scraper every time, we're going to set this up so that an automation triggers automatically and sends the data straight into our Google Sheet. First, log into make.com. If you don't have an account, go ahead and create one. Once you're in, look at the left sidebar and find scenarios. This is where all of your automations will live. If you haven't created anything yet, this page will be completely blank, which is perfect because we're about to change that right now. At the top of the screen, there's a big create a new scenario button. Click it and name the scenario something easy to remember, like Google Review Scraper. That way, if you set up another automation in the future, you won't have to play how many untitled files will I open before finding it. Now, let's add a trigger module. This is what tells make.com when to run an automation. Click the plus sign in the middle of the screen and then type Google Sheets into the search bar. Select search rows because that's what we want this automation to check. It's checking Google Maps for new URLs that get logged into the spreadsheet. If this is your first time connecting Google Sheets, you'll see a connect or add button. Click it, sign into your Google account and give make.com permission to access your sheets. Next, we need to tell make.com where to find our spreadsheet. Click on the drop down and look for the review scraping spreadsheet, the same one we set up earlier. Select it and then choose the sheet name. It's sheet one because that's where we're storing the URLs we want to scrape. Simple. Once that's done, hit save to lock in those settings. Now, every time we add a new place URL in the sheet, make.com will know to trigger the next step. Now, let's hook up Appify. Click the plus sign to add a new module, then type Appify and select Run an Actor. This is the action that tells Appify to start the scraping process. If you haven't connected Appify to make.com yet, you'll see an Add button, click it. You'll see a field asking for an API token. This is basically a secret key that lets make.com talk to Appify. To get it, click on the link that they provide. It'll take you straight to the Appify's API and integrations page. You'll see your personal API token there, 
click the copy button next to it, then jump back to make.com and paste that into, into the API token field, click save, and boom, you're connected. Now it's time to pick the right scraper. Click on the drop down menu and search for Google Maps Reviews Scraper. Select that one. This is the actor that'll go into Google Maps, find the businesses, and pull in all the reviews. Next, there's an option that says Run Synchronously. Set this to Yes. What this does is make sure that the scraper finishes running before Make.com tries to grab the results. If we don't do this, the automation might try to pull the data before the scraping is all done, and we'd end up with an empty sheet. We don't want that. Now comes an important step, configuring the scraper's input JSON. This is where we tell Appify exactly what to do. Click inside the input JSON field. Now, instead of guessing what to type, let's do it the easy way. Go to your Google Maps Reviews Scraper Actor on Appify and scroll down to the input example here. You'll see two buttons at the top. One says manual, the other says JSON. Click the JSON button to bring up the raw configuration code. This is where Appify stores all the instructions for the scraper. Highlight everything in that, in that JSON box, copy it, and now back in the input JSON field box in make.com, paste that in there. And when you paste, make sure to paste and match style. This keeps everything formatted clean. Now we need to update the JSON for dynamic URLs. Scroll through the code until you find the start URL section. Inside that, you'll see a placeholder URL. That's the one that we need to replace. Delete that URL, but be careful not to delete the surrounding brackets. Otherwise, the JSON structure would break and Appify would have no idea what to do. Instead of the static URL, we're going to pull in data from Google Sheets. Click on the field where the URL should go and you'll see a dropdown appear showing available data sources from the previous steps. Look for the place URL column from your Google Sheets module and select it. This tells Appify, hey, every time this runs, grab whatever URL is inside this column and scrape that business instead. Once you've done that, hit save, and now our scraper is fully dynamic. All right, so Appify is now pulling reviews dynamically, but we still need a way to grab those scraped reviews and send them back to Google Sheets. That's where the next module comes in. Click the plus sign in make.com and add another module. In the search bar, type Appify from the list and select Get Dataset Items. This module will pull the reviews from Appify after the scraper has finished running. Now, we need to connect it to the right dataset. Click on the Dataset ID field, and instead of manually entering in something, scroll down through the available options, from the first Appify module, you'll see something called default dataset ID. This is the unique identifier that Appify assigns to every dataset that it creates. Click on that and make.com will automatically link it. Now let's control how much data we're pulling in. There's a limit field. This tells Appify how many reviews to return. Since we're testing, enter 20 for now. If you want more, you can always increase this later in both the limit field and the JSON input from the previous step. Now that we've set everything up, let's lock it in. Click the Save button to make sure all your settings are stored in make.com. Nothing's worse than setting up a perfect automation and then losing it because you forgot to hit Save. Trust me, I've been there before. All right, time to put this thing to work. Click Run Once to test the scraper. Appify will now fire up, grab the reviews from Google Maps, and process them based on the settings that we configured earlier. Depending on how many reviews you're pulling, this might take a minute or two. So now's a good time to stretch, grab a snack, or stare at the screen and pretend you're hacking into a mainframe. Once it finishes, we need to check if everything worked as expected. Click on the output from the second Appify module, the one that retrieves the dataset. You should see a list of reviews complete with the reviewer names, review text, star rating, and even the owner's response if it exists. If everything looks good, we're ready for the next step getting this data into Google Sheets automatically. Click the plus sign to add a new module and then search for Google Sheets. Select Add a Row. This will allow us to insert new review data into our spreadsheet every time the scraper runs. Now, let's connect it to the right spreadsheet. In the Spreadsheet ID field, click the dropdown and find the one we created earlier, Review Scraping. If you don't see it, make sure you're selecting it from the Google Maps Reviews folder. Then in the Sheet Name field, Type data. This is where our scrape reviews will be stored. Now comes the fun part, mapping the scrape data to the correct columns. In Google Sheets, we've got six key pieces of information coming from Appify. 
reviewer name, review text, publish date, stars given, review URL, and owner response text. Click inside each column field and you'll see a list of available data from Appify's output. Match each column to its corresponding value. So for reviewer name, select the reviewer's name from Appify's output and do the same for the rest, making sure everything is assigned correctly. This step ensures that every time the automation runs, the data gets stored in the right place. Once everything is mapped, hit save, because again, losing our work at this point would be tragic. Now for the moment of truth. Click run once to test the full automation. Make.com will now trigger Appify to scrape reviews, retrieve the results, and insert them directly into Google Sheets. You should start seeing new rows populate in the data sheet. If everything looks good, congratulations. You've just built a fully automated Google Reviews scraper. No more manual copy pasting, no more digging through re reviews by hand. At this point, the process is fully automated. You can schedule it to run at set intervals or trigger it whenever you add a new business URL to the Google Sheet. From here, you can analyze trends, track customer sentiment, or even use this data for personalized outreach. And that's it. You've just mastered the art of scraping Google reviews using Google Sheets, Appify, and Make.com. So get ready to use this system for gathering valuable insights and crafting killer offers for your business. I'm super excited for you and this achievement. And if you run into any issues or need more help along the way, leave a comment below. I'm here to help out. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a like and subscribe so you never miss out on any more awesome content like this. And remember, in the first comment, I've added a little gift for you. It's that automation I mentioned that can handle lead generation and create personalized outreach messages for you. I'm giving it away for free for a limited time, so grab it while you can. And if you're serious about taking your automation game to the next level, check out our school community. It's linked below. Inside, you'll find exclusive templates, resources, and a supportive group of like-minded people who are ready to help you succeed. Plus, the exact template that we use today is in there, so don't miss it. Oh, and before you click away, here's a video you'll probably want to watch next. It's packed with even more tips to help you crush it with automation. See you there.